all the Christians who are out there, uh, who are serving under a ministry in an assembly, you've made a, a church your home church, you are paying your tithes, you are, you are washing a foot washing there, observing communion, being a wonderful Christian, doing your best to be faithful, very, very wonderful. Here is something I want to challenge you about. Here is something I want to challenge you about. Every man of God, sometimes they may move from the love of God and start becoming some demigod, some people to be hero worshipped and all those type of things. Sometimes it's you congregation, it's you people who are serving, who fail to pray for the men of God, who pray for the, to fail for the church you are going to because churches have got spirits. It's nice and well to put a responsibility upon a shepherd, upon a man who's leading there. But most of the time, it's you members who are lifting up a man to a certain level where you fail in your duties to uphold the man in prayer before God. Because demons and guns of hell are against the man of God. You need to encamp around and protect him in prayer and say, Lord, keep this man pure. Keep this heart pure because that pulpit is where we are feeding our souls. It's where our children are eating from. We depend upon this food to be victorious. So if this man is not spiritual, if this man has got hatred, if this man has got grudges, we are bound to die, all of us. Brother Torega was saying something earlier on that when someone has got a misunderstanding with someone else and he wants others also to see in the same thing. How can someone even hate someone who's never seen? It's not supposed to be amongst Christians. It means that Christians must start praying for the ministries where they are serving. Say, Lord, I want my pastor to have the heart of Jesus. I want my pastor to have that Holy Ghost that was in Peter. I want my pastor to be a son of God who is just very humble, who's meek and lowly. I want my pastor not to be full of himself. I love him so much. I want to spend heaven uh, with him. I want him to go to the rapture. But Lord, I know the enemy can take the gift and twist around. Lord, keep him in the love of God. The believers must travail for the ministry. The believers, it's about time you must say when you identify and say, this spirit, I don't like it. Don't just talk about it. Get down on your knees and say, Lord, I want to see a supernatural. I want to see a change in the ministry. I want to soften the hearts. Some of the ministers, their hearts have become hard because of the things they've experienced. Maybe rejection. Maybe, you know, along the way they've been disappointed. Maybe they've been, you know, been, been despised, rejected, relitued, and many experiences. So sometimes men they become so cold it's not because they want to it's experiences but you Christians you members come out and say man of God I'm going to stand with you like Moses I'm going to lift up your hands and there's going to be victory in the camp we need pastors brother stuff who are going to be so humble so meek and lowly who are going to have a burden for the children of God burden for the things of God and forget about self but you Christians I challenge you I challenge every Christian who is serving under any ministry. Pray for your pastor. Pray for your deacons. Pray for the ministers. Pray for the local ministry. Hold them before God and say, we want a spirit of love to prevail in. The prophet says, when the church is prayerful, there won't be sin in that church. We can pray sin out of the church. Don't pray. Don't speak about that one. I was just communicated. That one, that matter was not handled right. I could have handled this. It was better like this. That's not your business. Leave those things to the pastor. Leave those things to the deacon. Your duty is to stay on your knees and say, Lord, we want no demons in this church. We want no sickness in this church. We want no hatred in this church. We want no fighting, no stewing. We want so much love that it can be so hard to separate from one another. Believers must come together and be so hard to separate against each other. That's what we must pray for. We need a Pentecost by experience. We need a genuine Holy Ghost. Not a ghost, but a genuine Holy Ghost. Not as a spirit. Not just claiming the books of the message. 